So we've got a stages, we've got a stages troubleshooting tip. I don't know anyone on the planet that would sell more power meters than me as an individual and someone who doesn't work in this year. I'm not sponsored by stages. I'm not sponsored by SRO and power type, etc. I'm a big fan of the power meters. I'm a big fan of stages because they're the cheapest, lightest, stiffest, easy to deal with. Easy to spin your bike as well. Uh, there's all different types of power meters. I keep coming back to stages. Just e I, I'm a, I, go, I like fucking ease of use, man. But some people say, I just have, keep having problems with them. A friend of mine bought one the other day and she's already taken it back. I was, that was in Sydney, I'm in Adelaide, so I can't see it. But I've had so many people say my stages are dead. I'm like, give me a look. And boom, update the firmware. Where's the app? Update your firmware. Update the Garmin you're using, and it's generally good to go. The most important thing I've found, first of all, what is a power meter? A power meter measures the force you put for the pedals. So this is a crank arm here. This is two left-hand crank arms, the same thing. So you take this one off, and you buy your stages. It comes, they buy the cranks from Shimano or SRAM or Campag or whatever, and they install their little cockroach there, that little plastic thing. It's a little bit of plastic. Expe most expensive piece of plastic you ever buy. And there comes with this battery in there. Whenever you take your battery off, you want to be very gentle. You want to just like go around the battery with your fingers. It's obviously it's easier to stop the bike, but you don't, you don't need to take it off to, to do it. You just got to have patience. Don't be rushing it. Because sometimes people snap the tabs off, etc. And that's your 2032 battery in there. It just pops out real easy. Real easy. You can put a bit of white lightning crystal grease around there. Let me just get some. I'll show what I mean. This is white lightning crystal grease. A good biodegradable grease for all purposes. And you just put a little bit around the O-ring if you're riding in wet climates. Just a little bit around the O-ring. And it just protects a bit more water going in there. Sometimes people put the battery in and they... You can't really see it. These gold tabs here, they put the battery in and they tap them and it bends them in so then the battery doesn't hit it. So what you can do very carefully is with a scalpel, just lift them up without snapping them off. Uh, I've seen people do that. And when you put the battery in, don't put your fingers all over it. Have it clean. Surgical position, just pop it back in there with your shirt on. Boom, you're good to go like that. So little things like that. Obviously, you can use a rag if it's already on your bike. Uh, what else could I say? You might have to replay this video to get all the tips. We're gonna show you the app on the phone here. You turn your Bluetooth on, Stages apps, free. You download that. When you update your firmware or calibrate your crank, have it at six o'clock position. So the bottom of your crank hitting, pointing towards the ground. And then turn your Bluetooth and sync it up. And then it'll, if, it's, if there's a firmware update, it'll automatically come up. And that can solve a lot of problems for people as well. So there's the battery issue. The people running shitty batteries, they're buying out batteries for you know, 20 cents each off eBay and they're low quality and not really working. They buy a battery and they go, I've tried four different batteries, it's still working. Try a different brand of battery from a supermarket, like a high quality battery, and then see how you go. So the biggest tip would be take your battery in and out, put it back in. Make sure that your the little gold tabs aren't pressed in all the way. They should be like a half millimeter, millimeter off, just sort of pointing up so they're making battery contact. Update the firmware on your Garmin with Garmin Express. Download Garmin Express on your, on your computer. Update firmware, Garmin Express. That's what I use to upload to Strava. Automatically sync it. I'll put some tinks down below in case it's too complicated for you. I'm, I'm pretty fucking dumb anyway. So, But I'll work this all out. I'll work this out myself. I've got over seven stages of power meter. I think like seven or eight. Um, but I haven't had one die yet. And of all the power meters I've worked on, only one stages I couldn't save. I've, I've been, I've walked in the shops and people are oh, doing right, they've got the stages, you know, like, they're not that good. And I'm like, show me your product, and they've got some product they're sending back, and I get every single fucking stage is working. I'm like, there's no problem with this power meter. Just someone didn't know how to calibrate it, someone didn't know how to put a battery in there, someone didn't know how to update the firmware. There's not a problem with it. Like, oh. And I think it's, in retail, it's, it's really hard to sell product if people don't understand product. You know, so, that's the biggest thing, is, is the education of the retail, Endpoint, and then so they can educate the consumer. But when people come to this tie in with me, everyone's like, I've got like fucking 50 stages power meters, chooks back. Yeah. So I haven't seen any problems with them, except there was one power meter that got saturated, like a first gen, and we just couldn't get it going again. You know, because we just had it taped up and water was like rusty as strawberries. Strawberry gains. There we go. They're the best strawberries I've ever tasted. smells pretty good, actually. Organically, gal organically right. grown, St. Bernard's Road, McGill. Mm, they're good. Fucking hell, they're really good. Wow. Yeah, they're nice. Sweet. At Barry's or Barry's, yeah. Mm. Good old Bazza. Good old Bazza. There you go. Stages power meter. So many people write them off. 
they don't understand them. And I can understand it can be frustrating. You buy something for a thousand bucks and you're like, fucking shit, it doesn't work. I wish I could be with you when you're having that frustration and go through step by step with you. I've only ever seen one legit not work. The rest, I've probably provide maybe 40 stages, power meters or so. Great product. Great product. Just change the industry. It changed the industry. Power, everything got cheaper after stages. It's pretty cool. It is the best product in 2016. People say, what about this, what about that? I'm like, just get to stages. You can wait for like four eyes or other people to catch up, but you need power now. You need power now. Go out and get to stages today. And just lastly, I want to say, if you've already got a power meter, you know that, you don't need to get a stage. I was just saying, these are people who are in, in new to the market, need a great product that's good enough for Team Sky. If it's good enough for Chris Room, I think it's good enough for you. It's good enough for me. All right? If you've already got your Garmin Vectors or your Cork or your SRM or your Power Tap or your Power to Max, and it's working for you, you don't need no, you don't need another power meter. You know, unless you want to put it on the bike. I'm saying if you're in the market for a new product, stages untouchable.